everyone, welcome back to Learn to Play. My name is Julie, and for those of you that are new here, welcome. Today, I'm super excited to announce that this video is a collab with Krista from Playing With Purpose. Hi, Krista. We are gonna be showing you all things daycare-related storage and organization to start off this new year on a right foot. Now, I don't know about you, but I am forever trying to come up with new ideas on how to store things how to make it accessible for the children to use. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I store diapers and the dishware and the toys and teacher organization. And I'm sure that Krista is gonna be doing the exact same thing and it'll be interesting to see if we are similar in the way that we do things or if we're very opposite. If you have not checked out her channel, I will leave the link below. You guys, she is fabulous. Her setup is fabulous. I am so jealous of her space. Everything is thought out, everything is immaculate. She has so many great ideas and so many great things that she implements in her program for the children to learn from. And I just can't say enough good things about her. So Krista, again, thank you for doing this collab with me. Now, I'm gonna start off by showing you here at the center on how I store in the background all our art materials here. So with that being said, let me turn the camera around and let's get to it. Starting off in the art room, I just wanted to show you how I store all of the art supplies. These two cubbies are from Ikea, and I want to say that the bins you purchase separately. So maybe they were like $40 to $60 for each set of six, including the wood frame around it. I simply just labeled each bin. I want to say this is from Pocket of Preschool. I'll leave her TPT link below. And I just, you know, put glue, glue bottle, sponge, crayon, scissors colored pencils. I wanted to make it easily accessible for all the children to come and grab what they need. And then more importantly, it's easy cleanup. That way they know where everything goes once they are done. The way I store the children's art materials is I got this off of um, Amazon. I want to say that was like $20, but as you can see, it stores so many different things. Now this would be like if you're doing a whole like art project and you were looking to have multiple materials out at once, but you don't want an abundance of each thing. This, I wish it rotated and it doesn't. These come out, as you can see, but the whole thing itself does not rotate. I thought it was rotating, but it's not. And then another way you can store their materials while they're doing an art project is that I got this caddy from Michaels. I want to say this was like three or four dollars. Again, you could put scissors, glue, anything in here, and it would you know, suffice the use of the whole table and they could all, you know, just grab what they are looking for. One of my favorite furniture pieces as far as organization in a home daycare are definitely these cubbies. You can purchase these at Walmart, Target. Usually they're in the $20, $25 range. This one, as you can see, houses eight different compartments. And I love them because these bins that go in there are bigger bins. And so you can put chalkboard, coloring books, dry erase boards in there. And again, I labeled these in the front of each bin. That way the children know where to put things back if per se all of the chalkboards are being used at one time. One of the ways I love to sort colored paper is I purchased this paper bin from Amazon. I want to say it was like $20, $25. Again, children can just walk up. They can grab the paper. You're not foaming through hundreds of sheets of paper trying to find all the yellow ones. Everything's already together. And it's all about making life easier for you and the children in your care. Another great organization is using one of these carts I purchased from Michaels. It has 10 bins. I want to say this was like 20 or $25. Again, you can do like the days of the week in here. You can sort paper in here. You can sort different activities in here. It's super lightweight. It does roll and then you can put things on top. This is a great teacher cart. I wanted to show you a simple way to house teacher supplies and have everything be in one spot. I found this craft storage container at Marshall's this past summer. I wanna say again, it was like $20. I simply used my label maker and labeled each compartment with different items. Everything is in one place. You can keep it up high. As you can see, I have it on a shelf and then it's easily accessible for you to grab whatever you're needing to grab. Next up is our first aid kit. Now I found this container at one of these like mommy resale shops for $5. And so I turned it into a first aid kit. Simply just use my Cricut machine, cut out the letters. And then inside on the left-hand side, I just hung up one of those dry erase packets from the Dollar Tree and then made a first aid kit supply checklist. 
That way I can check it off each month. If your state licensing requires that, it's an easy way to keep track of what you need, what you've used. And then I just labeled each area on the bin with what goes where. Again, it's great for state licensing. They can come in here, they can compare the checklist to what's in here. Everything's in one little spot. I'm sure you can find these kind of metal containers at like Home Depot or Lowe's as well. Next up, I wanna show you a couple of different storage options if your like home daycare space is in your main living area. If you don't have like a separate room or you don't do it in the basement, if you're actually doing it out of your first floor level or out of your living room and you don't want your house to look completely daycare all the time, I have a couple of little tricks I'm gonna show you. So I got this ottoman off of Amazon. I wanna say it was like $40 and inside, I put all of the games or like learning materials. The children can come, leave them in the box, they can grab everything. And then once it's done, you can put the lid back on. No one is none the wiser that there's even daycare stuff in there. Another trick I wanted to share with you is I purchased this four tier bookshelf off of Amazon. I'll leave the link below. And then I put a little bit higher quality baskets on this. Again, they have the wooden top. I got all of these between Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And I wanna say they were all pretty much on sale, like two for 12, two for 15. And I know that's a little bit pricier as opposed to going to like the Dollar Tree. But again, if this is in your main living space and you don't want it to look more daycare-ish, this is a great alternative. The lids are very thin. You can take them off during the day, during daycare time, and then put them on in the evening. I wanted to show you how I am storing the diapers here at the center, seeing that I am going to be supplying the diapers for the children and not relying on the parents to bring them in. I figured in the infant room, they're usually around size one to four, sometimes five to six, but since I'm going up to 18 months in this room, I think size four will be good enough. And then I just simply printed out these little elephants that I found on Canva. And then that way the teacher knows which size is in which bin. And then I put a separate bin for gloves and a separate bin for wipes. Okay, so that is the organization tips that I wanted to show you here at the center. Now we are gonna move on to my home daycare and I'm gonna show you how I store things there. I wanna start off with like preschool organization. Now, after COVID began and I reopened my home daycare, I decided to have specific desks for the children and I color coordinated them. So I got these desks from Ikea. They were like $20, $25. I painted them and each child then essentially asked them what color do they want. They picked the color, I painted them, and then we just kind of go from there. So when I do give them the materials, I tried to color coordinate the boxes and the materials with their color that they have chosen. And then I got these storage cubes the top and bottom shelves, those are from Ikea. They color coordinated the bins as well. That way the children know where to go to get their materials. And then if I'm putting the materials away, I know where they're going and they each have their own supply. Most of these materials are from the Dollar Tree. If not, I'll let you know. So starting with your basic, just like pencil case, you can put, you know, whatever supplies you're using. If you're doing a craft that day, you know, glue, glue stick, scissors, whatever, or you can put them in these kind of containers. I think these are like a three pack from the Dollar Tree as well. And you can put like crayons in there, markers in there. I love putting crayons inside of this um, little crayon container. I got that from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Tree has these as well. I think these are usually like three or four for a dollar. And those work perfectly for the size of a crayon and you can keep them all together. Now these clear containers I did get from Michaels and I just put my own little like sticker on there. And then inside I essentially just built a little like kit, like an art kit for them. Scissors again. You can't fit glue in here, but you can put a glue stick, crayons, whatever. And then they can see through this. I like this because it's clear and they can see through this. One of the ways I hold all of their artwork or their paperwork is that I do send home a daily folder with them. Again, this is color coordinated with each child. Then I just put their stuff inside of here. And then in their little bins, I have these clear 
um, paper protectors. I think this is from the Dollar Tree. And then I ordered these off of Amazon. These are a little bit sturdier and they zip up as well. And then when we're working on our letters and numbers and stuff, I got these books from the Target Dollar Spot. And then you can just put their artwork in here as well or their daily activity work in here and then send that home. Now, as far as organizing all of my magnetic letters, I love these bins. This is from like the craft section. You could probably get this at like Walmart or one of the craft stores. And then I just separated all of the letters. I got these letters from the Target Dollar Spot. This bin is from the Dollar Tree. You can give each child their own little bin with letters to, to work on their alphabet. And then again, these clear containers are for Michaels. I love these as well because these are small, compact, and each child can have one at their desk. I have shapes, I have letters, and then these are also great for any like table activities, like any kind of like quiet time activities. You can give each child their own little container. The craft organization containers are also great for sorting pom-poms. I love doing that. And then these bins are from the Dollar Tree. I love these. I use these for pretty much all of my craft stuff. And then last but not least, you can also find these at the Dollar Tree. I love these too because then the children can see everything at once. And these are small, compact, they fit at the table. And then the same one that I had the alphabet in, you can put all their stuff in. It has a clear top. Again, the children can see everything they have. They can just take off the top, work with all the materials. It's about an inch thick. They can keep everything in there and it doesn't go flying around their desk. Now, some of the things I want to show you as far as like teacher organization, I am obsessed with these. I have so many of these and you can get these at Michael's. I think you can get these anywhere now, like Hobby Lobby, Target, Walmart. Before they used to pretty much only be a Michael's thing. And I want to say when you find them on sale for $15, that's a good deal. They have 16 slots. And what I do is I just put all my flashcards in there. You can put games, memory games, flashcards, and it holds it all together. I love these again because they're see-through and you can see what is in it. Another container from the Dollar Tree. I love the size of this. I'm not crazy about the color because it's hard to see what is in here, but it does hold a lot of stuff. Another great find from the Dollar Tree is in their kitchen section. These are actually just like storage containers. You can see the top comes off. I love these because they're clear. You can see in them. And then even on top, you can see through them. And I love the way that they stack. Another item from Michael's, and I have so many of these. These are the iris cases. And I think normally you can find them. They're like three or four bucks. But as you can see, you can put so much stuff in here. Again, they're clear. I just put a little like paper on top so I know which theme it is. I use these for each month and I also use these for specific themes. As you can see, this one is the Halloween one. And last but not least in storing stuff is you can't go wrong with a classic Dollar Tree shoe box. <laughs> you can't see through the top, but you can see through the sides and this houses a lot of stuff. So I love using those. Another great teacher organization are these bins that I picked up from Walmart. Now these are four separate bins. I wanna say they were $6 each. Each one has three slots, and as you can see, I just divided them up between the days of the week, and then I put the teacher's name on the top. That way, whatever materials they're using, they can just put in their slot. If they're printing out stuff, they can hold it. It's a great organization tool. I just wanted to give a quick overview, again, how I use those clear bins. As you can see, I have some shoe boxes there as well. Again, I love these because they're clear. Anything that I'm looking for, I don't need to worry about putting labels on things. I can see through it and just grab it. And then these bins are from the Dollar Tree as well. I love these to house paint in them. They're not the most sturdy thing, I'll be honest, but it does its job. I keep the paint in there. And then these bins are from the Dollar Tree as well. I love these because they easily fit. You know, they're the length. You can put a chalkboard in there. You can put dry erase boards in there. And then at the bottom, I just use the little book bins to house all of my books. Another great teacher resource is just the basic file cabinet. 
This one, I have three different drawers. The top one, I've separated all of my construction papers, so then when I'm looking for a specific color, I can easily find it. The second drawer, I sorted alphabetically. So say if I'm looking for something with the letter E, we're doing elephants, I can pull it out. Any kind of like letter tracing, it makes it really easy to find. And then the bottom drawer, I have separated like colors, letters, numbers, shapes. Again, any kind of activity that we're doing, I can just easily pull this out as well. Here's a look at my main upstairs diaper changing area. I got that shelf from Hobby Lobby. I believe the baskets are from either TJ Maxx or Target. I have all the children that are in diapers. And then I just have one that I house gloves, cream, and then usually like any spare wipes, I'll just put on the side right there. And then as far as their clothing, again, I got these bins. I think the bigger bins are from Target. And I just have the children's clothes in there. And then I have an overflow of clothes in this little drawer that I got from Walmart. And then an overflow of diapers go in here as well. I love this because you can just grab the diapers, change them, everything is together. Again, I have another hand sanitizer and paper towel roll. Next, I want to show you how I store the children's dishware. As you can see, I have very little upper cabinets in this kitchen. They're pretty much all lower cabinets. And even then, I'm very limited on what I have to use with. So in order to accommodate that, I have the children's stuff inside of a pantry. Now, I got these bins from the Dollar Tree, and then I just sorted them by like snack cups, plates. Then I have regular cups, assortment bowls, and then the last bin right there is the children's bibs. As far as the silverware, I do keep it in the cabinet right here. I have three of these little bins from the Dollar Tree. I think they were three for a dollar, just an assortment of forks and spoons. In the back, I have some burp cloth, some cloth bibs, and then some washcloths. I wanted to show you how I store the children's toys in my upstairs gathering area so we use this area pretty much at drop-offs and pickups and during transition time like before and after breakfast and before and after lunch so on top they all love the jungle stuff so i have that on here i have another one of those clear containers where i just store like markers and erasers and stuff and then little like individualized animal kits and stuff i can give them and then up here, I just have some like little felt kits and stuff they play with. I have all of their puzzles up here, dry erase boards. I love using those during transition times. And then I just got these bins. I wanna say they're all from Walmart. And then I just have like housekeeping stuff in one, some other like doodle boards in another one. This one I house all of their like cars and superheroes. There are books down here and then at the very bottom I have a big thing of like Duplo blocks and then their favorite the jungle and the dinosaurs. This way everything is all on one shelf and it's easy to pick up. I just put the bin on the floor when it's time to pick up and they usually do a pretty good job about putting everything away. So there you have it. That is how I store things here at both my home daycare and the center and some of the materials that I use to store things with. Once again, I want to thank Krista from Playing With A Purpose for doing this collab. You guys, if you have not checked out our channel, I'll leave the link below. Go over there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. She has so many amazing ideas. You have to be following her. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you next time.